I mean, I'll drink, but I've got a coffee right now. Hang on. God damn it. Okay, thank you for telling me. That scared the shit out of me. So you got to miss my friggin' scream of death. Oh my god. Hi, I was saying good morning. God damn it. Scared the shit out of me. Right as I kill the music too, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I should probably go find the game and then just... Da! The loudest screams are the ones you can't hear. It's a peak more arc moment. No, peak arc moment is when I like forget type tr uh, type matching in Pokemon. That's getting clipped. Oh come on! Every single at this point, you may as well go back and like clip every scream I have. Have a supercut of all the time someone subbed to me and then just made me jump. It would be a lot. There'd be a lot to clip at that point. I have so much screen real estate now. I have a new screen, and it's so big. It's so weird. I have, like, my entire desk is just screen now. Or rather, the ones you can't hear. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I wonder what that visually looked like. Just... Oh, I can't do a wide mouth. It's sad. It's the same resolution. Yeah, but it's bigger! It's bigger! And that's what's important. It's not, it's not the resolution, it's, it's how big the resolution is being scaled. Also, I subbed to the bun again. Does that mean you're gonna make me jump again? I'm like half expecting it at this point. Uh, I'm just gonna go find the game now. I mean, it already went through. Oh, so it's probably just gonna delay then. And it's gonna jump me as I'm as I'm pulling out the game. Uh, streaming files, streaming games. Play no mind to the uh, pong noise that you hear in the background. That is my new sound effect pack that I set my computer to. Oh no, it's funny. Uh, yes, let me make a bigger size screen at the same resolution. Yes, give me a 240p screen, but it's like 27 inches. Hell yes. I just want the biggest set 230p. 230p? Jesus. Damn, okay. I said building size. Yes. More building. Let's bring game up here. Video game. Why does that clear the chat? I don't understand that. I. I think I just killed a skeleton. Yep, that's. Okay, I didn't realize that was my error noise. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Evidently not. Game? Game? Alright, we have to wait for it to appear. We have to wait for the gamer itself to get... There we go. The gamer itself? The game itself to not get shy. Alright. Get me in there. So, I did some tweaking. And I did, I figured out how to get this working, and this is kind of cool. 
So I don't know if any of you remember from the last streams. Um, I held on to one particular item because I thought it was absolutely garbage. The turtle boots. Alright. Now, the turtle boots gave you, like, what, five defense and cut your speed by, like, half? It was garbage. Hot garbage. Even at the start of the game, it's like, why, is, why would you ever use this? So I modified it a bit. Turtle boots... D despite what the description says, because I apparently can't edit descriptions for some reason, the editor doesn't let me. Now increases your max HP, which I'm going to take away because that's kind of really broken. But it now multiplies your defense instead of gives you five defense. I'm also going to make it so that it cuts your speed by about 25%. <sighs> Welcome to the Turtle Club. Yeah. But yeah, this. I also gave it a, a downside for the time being, since this is really broken as it is. It also boosts enemy encounters. So you're slower, you've got more defense, you've got more health, but you also, like, run into more battles. And I thought that was a really good trade-off for it. It also gives you so much defense now. Mia can have more defense than Bran. Which is absolutely hilarious to me, and I'm going to immediately do that. It's so... <laughs> I, I went from, man, this is a really stupid, useless item, to, you know, this is actually kind of broken. Man. Alright, I should probably sell a couple extra items as well. Let's see. I think I saw a mason here. Yeah, get that out of here. Is this, like, the first artifact we have, and I still have it? That's kind of funny. Wait a minute. Shouldn't, like, any of the weapons that I can buy now be better than the Arctic Sword? By, like, one point. Yeah, never mind. Okay, what if I gave him the, the Great Axe? Ugh, that's a significant increase. Do I do it? I do kind of like the idea of it. How much for the Light Blade give him? Yeah, I'll give it the Axe. It's a significant increase. Wait, hang on! We just got an Axe, and it's still weaker than the current one we can buy. I'm noticing a trend with a lot of the weapons in the original Golden Sun. Oh no, I found this cool weapon! Oh wait, I can buy something slightly stronger. I guess that's the trade-off, but it's kind of weird. Alright, now it's been a little while, but I don't quite remember... Um, I don't quite remember what he do to tick the... Or to get all the, uh, the guys moving, rather. Words. English, perhaps. I think we go in here, we talk to the backpack guy in the back. Everyone's looking forward to it. Toby Springs, finish eating and we're taking off, we'll be leaving soon. Okay, so you t talk to him and when you leave town, uh, they should all leave town as well. First things first. Let's go to the big important people. Hang on, let me check something right quick. Something is bothering me. Never mind, everything is fine. What is this? Interesting. Huh. Okay. I don't know what that's about. We will happily welcome visitors once Lord Hammett has returned. Okay, so we're not allowed to go in. Hammett's not here. Let's go. Leave this to me. Aura, what are you doing? It is I. Please permit me to see Lady, uh, Liana? Liana, I guess? Leona, rather? You don't recognize? I'm Aura, servant to Master Hammett, to Lord Hammett. <clears throat> I'm using my immense charisma. Aura? I didn't recognize you. You're so tan. But it's really you, Aura. I mean, we did just kind of go through a desert. Oh, it's Aura. You've grown so much in such a short time, Aura. Really changed that much? Well, I mean, you're about, like, what, 20, maybe 15 levels higher? Really? I'm surprised. I don't feel like it's been that long. It doesn't matter. What's important is that the thieves freed you. Huh? Please tell us, when, uh, will Lord Hammett be freed soon, too? Freed? Lord Hammett is a prisoner? You, haven't you heard? 
uh, I can see we'll need to fill you in on everything. This is a private matter. Please leave your friends. No, we can't leave Aura behind. He almost died in that last fight we had, so we probably want to keep an eye on him. Also, he's like the fastest character in my party. Don't, don't, don't take him out of here. My companions and I have overcome many hardships together. Very well, then. Why were you not with Lord Hammett? I remained in vault, uh, vault to look for his stolen rod. Stolen? Someone stole his rod? Yes, the shaman's rod. But I was able to recover it. Then Lord Hammett must be still imprisoned in Lumpa. I must report this to Lady Le Le Leona immediately. Aura, come see Lady Leona with me. You can explain it to her. Ark, you saw Lord Hammett heading north, didn't you? Yes. That must have been when Lord Hammett went towards Lumpa. Why the hell am I already having problems with my throat today? I swear to God. I don't want to be one of those people that starts having to talk with voice attacks, but I will if I have to. <coughs> there we go. Okay, I can breathe now. Lady Diana will surely be glad to hear your tale. Please come with me and fill her with it, 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 tell her your full story. That was English. Ah, yes, the shade to sepia tone so that we may quickly tell everyone this what's going on. When I heard that you were uh, you were back, Aura, I had dared to hope that Lord Hammett had returned with you. We thought Lord Hammett had been released from Lumpa too. We sent the ransom money they demand. They sent ransom money. Damn. So he should return soon, right? What has been happening in Lumpa these days? The leadership in Lumpa passed from its former, uh, from its founder, Lumpa, the noble thief. To his son, Dompa, and then to Lumpa's grandson. Though Donpa is a very evil man. His father, Donpa, is a, is heartbroken at the state of Lumpa now. When did you send the ransom money? Let's see. First the volcano erupted. And the ransom note came after the explosion. Or the eruption, rather. We rushed the money to them right away. I remember it well. Wow, you guys didn't even think about it. You just went straight into handing them the cash. Brilliant. Sheer brilliance. It's been quite a while since the eruption. Is it possible they have no intention of letting Master Hammett go? Or ha Lord Hammett, rather? It's funny, you call him Master at the start, and now you call him Lord. Interesting. You think so too, Aura? Uh, did I arc? Rather? Everything with an A? God damn it, my brain. Are you saying Dodampa won't release Hammett? I think that's fucking evident right now. I agree with Aura. If they were going to release him, they would have done so by now. I'm sorry, L Lady Liana, but I think Aura might be right. Damn, leave it to the child to make you look like an idiot. Correction, the children all believe the same thing. Won't anybody please ask the children? What should we do? How can we rescue Hammett? What if something was to happen to him? Let us handle this. My lady, this is exactly what the soldiers of Cal uh, Calais are here for. Yes, Lady Liana. Let us, uh, let us handle this. Also, I just realized they're using spears, and I don't think there's a single lance in the whole game. In both games, actually. There's pole arms and, like, stabs and shit, but, like, there's no spears. Huh. I don't know why I didn't realize that until now. Interesting. Moving on. Command us to attack and we shall! Wow, they're fucking hyped for a fight. I cannot do that. Not without thinking it over carefully. Like you thought over the ransom money handing? How can we guarantee Hammett's safety if we send soldiers to attack? See? I cannot do it. I cannot put Hammett's life at risk. Can we do something to help? I mean, we've got magical mind powers. We could probably do something. Oh, well. It's about time you started agreeing with me, Ark. <laughs> wow. What are you two talking about? Rand thinks that we can help. 
It's, it is too dangerous. If you fail, your lives would be in danger too. Besides, don't you have your own quest to pursue? Uh, no. I do not believe that. Aura would have not stayed with you for this for so long if you if you did not have an important task ahead. Really, Aura is just known to just follow random people around if they have an important task. I guess if he's able to read minds, then he knows he can trust them. But that's still kind of really awkward. It's like, hey man, this kid's been following us for a while. Should we be concerned? I don't know, man. He knows what I did last night, and there was nobody else in the room. I say we trust him. <laughs> then what will happen to Lord La Lord La Lord Lambert? That's all, folks. Telepathy? Psychomantis? No, no. Friggin... Aura, Aura just walks up to me. You like to play Tales of Games, don't you? I see you like to play Gordon, son. Hmm. Well, <laughs> gear. <laughs> Put your controller on the floor in front of you. Not to the camera. <laughs> God, no. I'm just remembering the scene where it's like, um... Psycho Mantis kind of makes his later apparition of himself. It's just like, YES! THE VIBRATIONS! THEY'RE BACK! <laughs> <coughs> that hurt my throat. God, when the, when the DualShock controller didn't have vibrations and they bring it back, just like, YES! IT'S BACK! COOL VIBRATIONS! <laughs> I'll stop, I'll stop. Hammond is a good hostage for them. They will not kill him. I mean, yeah, he's a really po all-powerful merchant right now. We shall wait for another message from Loompa. <laughs> Lady Liana, I cannot leave like this. It will be fine, Aura. Hem uh, where's your memory card? <laughs> ah, everything's internal now. Excellent. Wait, where's your hard drive? How are you playing this game? You had to install it to do so. I'm losing my voice trying to do Psycho Mantis. Holy crap. <coughs> You'll be fine, Aura. Hammett will not want to distract you from... I apologize. I should not... I should not... I, should, I have said more than I should. Huh? Sounds like Hammett knows about our mission, doesn't it? I suppose I can keep it a secret no longer. Very well, I shall tell you. He swore an oath to a Jupiter Adept. A Jupiter Adept? You've heard of a village called Vale. Yeah, we're from Vale. Are from Vale? Really? Then the prophecy has come true. Ah, yes. The prophecy. What prophecy? Three years after the terrible storm that struck only Mount Al. Aura must depart... Uh, oh, three years after the storm only struck Mount Al. Aura must depart on a journey with warriors from Vale. It was foretold. Ah, perfect. I've heard nothing of such a prophecy. It happened several years before H Hammett founded Kale. You see, this is not a prophecy. This is actually just her way of saying, I guess I don't want to get the kid involved. So, uh, let's just make up some shit. He was off traveling. Hammett felt he had reached an impasse as a merchant then. He risked his life on a journey to find a new bus a new source of business. He was in mortal danger at the southwestern edge of the world when some adepts appeared and saved his life. Not gonna say what it was? He had lost consciousness, but when he woke, he found himself in their village. Just a moment. Am I from that village? Yes, the juke the adept gave him the shaman's rod, and you, along with some doubloons. Doubloons? Were they golden doubloons? Yes, let's see. You are called I am Mia Mia, Lady Liana. It was a lot of gold, Mia, but he also received some business advice. <laughs> business advice? Hammett, the greatest merchant ever known? 
Yes, Ran. Hammett has uh, has the adepts to thank for his success. Wow, I've never heard anything like this. He he was advised to buy silk in Xiang and sell it in Tolby. To see anything sell so well, it's like a dream come true. Ah, yes. Go to the foreign country and sell it in the modern country. Uh, not modern, but like different country. You basically export to, to a different country. Business! There's no denying that when Hammett pick, uh, picked up his... Uh, da -da 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 -da. There's no denying that when it... Da -da 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 -da. One more time. There's no denying that was when Hammett picked up his knack for business. Dear God. So they taught him basic trade. Yeah, adepts. Freaking... It took people with magical psychic powers to be like, You're an idiot. Do this. Be gone. Also, take my kid. I don't want it. Did he have to promise them anything in return? Ah, uh, yes, Aura. It was something to... It is something you will ne uh, need on your journey. Something we need on our journey? The Adept asked Hammett to use the Shaman's Rod to obtain it. What? He looked over this object whenever he w uh, wherever he went, but he could never find it. Then three years ago, a storm struck that one... Uh, one the bet. A storm struck, one that only hit Mount Alf. Hemet was worried that time was running out. But he had managed to unearth a clue just in time. That aura is what is why he took is why he took you with the caravan on his last journey north. I had no idea. So then uh so that must be why he left the uh the rod in my care. Then No, Aura, you mustn't blame yourself. It was my carelessness that caused the rod to be stolen, and ultimately, that's why Lord Hammett is being held in Lumpa. You must continue your journey and complete your quest. You cannot blame yourself. What will happen to Hammett? I will handle this. And don't forget the soldiers of Calais! Continue on your journey and do not worry about Hammett! I think secretly she just doesn't like Ivan, or Flora, pardon me, and is just trying to use this as an excuse to get rid of him. It's like, I never liked this kid. He never matched my hair. He's so quiet and calm. He's no fun. That's all I'm thinking. I'm sorry, but I cannot tell you more about the Shaman's Rod. No, don't apologize. The Shaman's Rod will help us find that thing we need on our quest, right? Will you look for it? I guess we don't really have a choice. If Mark says we will, there's nothing to worry about. Very well, take care of yourselves. Return to your posts, everyone. Back from dinner. Welcome back, Ran. We just found out that Aura has been, uh, was an adopted child, and now the wife of his master is trying to dump him on us. But he seems pretty content with it, so I guess everything worked out in the end. That's that's it. That's all. That's, that's all that's happened. Also, this is about to happen. Okay, are you? Are we all listening? Let's stop right here. Sometimes it'd be that way. Why are we stopping in a place like this? Yeah, we have to hurry or we'll be late for Colosso. By the way, I have not modified any of the fighters in, Col in Colosso. If I fuck up, that's my own fault. Also, I need to actually win Colosso or else I'll be very upset. Late for Colosso? We can't have that. That just won't do at all. We paid good money to see Colosso. We can't be late. Everyone will just be fine, folks. Everything will just be fine, rather. We're just checking to make sure no one is missing. I guess that's okay. If anyone is missing, we're the ones who will be missing out. Just forget about them. Let's just move on. I love how these two get talk pictures, but, like, they're not in any way important. All right, hurry up and start counting. Hang on, my... why am I lagging? What is running in the background? Oh, hang on, I know what's going on. 
Uh, my real life feature is on. Let's turn off desktop record right quick. Jesus Christ, my GPU just dropped. Elgato? Boy, Elgato. I'm not using you right now. Does that mean that... Why is Unity open? Wait, no. This uses Unity. That's right. Uh, is it recording the, uh, is it recording again? Well, I turn it on after streams in case anything funny happens while I'm doing stuff, and I can share the clip, but, like, I don't know. I turned it on. No, no, OBS isn't recording. That was my relive feature that lets me, like, take a clip of the past few minutes. Uh-oh, we're one person short. Where could they be? He starts counting again. Like, clowns popping up? That would be terrifying. And no, that wouldn't be funny. Clowns aren't funny. Nor are they scary, they're just weird. What's going on? Why aren't we leaving for Tolby yet? There are a lot of people waiting to see Colosso here. Hey, what's up? Why are the guides pacing back and forth? Come on, why aren't we leaving yet? I hear there was a landslide on the road to Tolby. We paid good money to take the cruise to Colosso. We have to... Uh, we have to decide if we're entering Colossa once we reach Tolby. Right. Uh, when... <laughs> right when we're... we're bleh, right when we're leaving, they tell us we, we have to ride a boat. Can't stand boats. If I had known, I never would have come. Just be a sh... It's just a shame... A man like you can't ride a boat, Orinus. That's it! We can't wait any longer! Also, I love how the chef is clearly just making breakfast on the way. He's even flipping it! He's even flipping whatever he's holding! What the hell? Can't wait, what do you mean? We all know that anyone who's left behind, uh, anyone who is late was left behind, right? Everyone understood that. Then what's the problem? We'll miss the boat if we wait any longer. Miss the boat? We can't let that happen! We paid a lot of money. We have to arrive before the carnival starts. Hannibal. There's nothing we can do. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. This was a pointless cutscene to basically say that everyone's heading to the boat now. An old man. Where did my tour group get to? Uh, no! They wouldn't have left without me, would they? Oh no! I better get moving! Uh, uh, uh. Alright, well, he's off. Alright, now we can leave. So, we could go north and get a few things since we have Reveal. Actually, I might actually do that now. There's one thing I'm gonna do, the rest of it I can get later. Because I have to go back with, uh, what's it called? Uh, I have to go back there with Cloak later. Man, the encounter rate. Why? Oh, wait, I know why. I'm wearing the freaking turtle boots. Oh, no. I should give them the ability to take more encounters. Unfortunately, I'm digging my own fucking grave by wearing this, so let's take it off for now. So we're going to head home right quick, but we're not going to go talk to anyone or start any cutscenes because we're really only going there for one thing. Hello, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. I am only here for one thing, and that's to go raid the deep, dark cave in the closet. No particular reason. Also, I think I can do this now? I can. Yes, deep dark cave. Let's see. There's treasure here and there's treasure over there. I'm pretty sure there's actually three treasures in this room. The problem is, because of the way the game is designed, if you pick up one, the sparkle for the other the other one disappears. So you see the one on the left here and there was one on the right? So if I pick this up, there's a vial. But if I go over here now, and I use reveal... Huh? 
But that's always how it's happened to me. What's different? Am I fiddling with the game? Fix this somehow? There's no way in hell. Fiddles with game's code somehow fixes it. Great. I love it. I think there's an item in here as well. Right here? No. Where is it? I remember there being an item here. Haru Haru? What? Wait, is it right here? No, I think it's actually in this house. There should be an item around here. Oh, it's this one. Right here. A smoke bomb. Literally worthless. <clears throat> as far as I know, um, the delusion status, which is effectively blindness, um, doesn't work well on enemies. So, I don't know. Do you even lift, bro? Oh yeah, I also have to go inside Creighton's house, because I forgot there was an item in there. The vault, or Veil Cave. Now, I'm pretty sure I go this way first. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. It makes me want to play Bayonetta, honestly. Ouch. What? I don't have a bad singing voice. Unless I peek the microphone, which, if that's the case, then I apologize. Not a single note was on key. Well, thanks. It's not like I was singing it off of memory, which is pretty shit. Also, I'm not singing the version you're probably thinking of. I was probably more or less singing the version that was playing in the ba in the Bayonetta. Which is a lot more upbeat than the slower version of the original. That's... Just namely because I've heard that version more, because it plays literally any time you got into a fight. Wait, can I not get this yet? I don't know if I can get this yet. Hmm. Yeah, there he is. I haven't heard that version, but I doubt it changes the main melody. Eh, I mean, go and look it up, I guess. The Halt Gem. Alright, Aura, you've got yourself a new power. Instead of having just the power of force, now you can just tell people to STOP! You violated the law! Hello. He's running. After him. Come here, buddy. Get your ass over here. I'm gonna catch you. Come on, I'm gonna get you. Alright, how about this? STOP! Can I tell them they're criminal scum? Stop criminal scum! Yee. You got kite. Ooh, really? This is where we get kite? Hell yeah. So kite's one of the interesting gin of the game. This lets you attack twice next round. Basically, you get two turns. So if I use this on you, and then the next turn you decided to, say, use impact, you can use it twice in one turn, and then just fully upgrade someone's stats, like attack stat. It does not change the main menu the pain. Then I guess I'm just I've got no rhythm, maybe? Maybe I'm just tone deaf. That could be that could be a possibility. Or I haven't heard the song in a while, actually, now I think about it. I was gonna buy Vanna 3, but it just I don't know. Never got around to it. Jesus! Friggin' rats are charging at me now. I think I saw a treasure chest somewhere else? Not here. You rotten bugger. This game plays basically 
uh, that part of the song every few minutes. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's a very short song, considering it's meant to be used as the battle theme, I'm pretty sure. At least in the original Bayonetta. <clears throat> yes, I love it when my throat decides to chuckle, hate me, whatever. Pain. Uh, I'm not talking about Bayonetta. Oh, fair enough. No, it only plays a few times. Really? Yeah, but it's been a while since I've actually played Bayonetta. I need to go back and play more of it. Okay, hang on. I know I saw another treasure chest. How do I get to it? This isn't a door, is it? No. Oh, I'm talking about Golden Sun. Yeah, this, uh... That's kind of the downside to... Okay, this is something that bothers me in most RPGs. If your encounter rate is particularly high, you're going to hear the start of a song all the damn time. Like, I know the first, the intro bit to, like, the final song in the game, and the second game, because the encounter rate in the final dungeon just pisses me off. Oh, I go this way. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here now. I definitely thought my tracking broke again. It seems like if the camera is actually looking directly at me, it doesn't break, which is nice. This is also why I... Uh, speaking about the music from earlier, this is also why I like the songs in town more. Because you get to hear a lot more of them. Oh, wait, hang on. I think it's this pot. Five coins. I could have gotten that at the start of the game, but I didn't because I forgot. Alright, instead of going and seeing uh, Dora, we're just going to leave. Having Kite really helps because it means that if I need to, I can just give Aura's turn, that turn, to someone else and have them attack twice. Or give it to Aura and have him try to put the enemy to sleep and also try to buff us, or... Basically, it's a really versatile trick. The only problem that I have with it is that... Um, it basically eats up one turn to give you another. Which sounds like a great idea, but at that point, like... Why don't you just use your turn? There it is. What? Oh! No, I do kind of hear it. I hear what you mean! I... Wow, I do hear it in this song. Wow. Nice ear. I... Wow. I mean, similar melodies, I guess, but... Neat. Maybe that's why I like the song Fly Me to the Moon. Because it reminds me of Golden Sun. <laughs> No, wait, there's one more thing we can do. Okay, so. Remember the dog we fed the bone to? So if I do this, you can see right at the bottom, he's guarding a little secret passage. So we're gonna go do that. It's one of the most annoying secret passages to go through. It's just two measures at most, but yeah, I hear it every single time. I see what you mean. I can't unhear it, too. That's the funny part now. Alright, gotta make sure I come up here. See that Jin hiding in the tree? It would be simpler if we just went around the side and then just punched the tree or something, but no, we have to scare him. Now he's up there. And the little secret passage leads right there. I hate this secret passage. Because as a kid, I constantly screwed up the puzzle at the bottom of it. Mimic time! Time to beat him up! Debilitate? No, you've lowered me as defense. 
God, I can't wait to use that against a boss. Just be like, yeah, you know what? I've got more health and more defense. So technically it means I've got even more defense and defense. Okay, so this is something that I've always un un never understood. Um, in RPGs, having health and having defense are technically the same thing. In games where you can reduce the character's defense, though, it means that having more health is technically better if you can't reduce their maximum HP. That's just something I've thought about. Uh, and this is why you give chests a good whack before opening them. Exactly. Especially in Dark Souls. Just give it one little whack, and if it starts moaning and trying to eat your face, well then run. Maybe I should play Dark Souls on stream at one point. That sounds like utter chaos. I wonder, did they fix the problem with Dark Souls 3? Where people could, like, use the, cer like, uh, <clears throat> use the online play to, like, do things on your computer and execute random code? What do you think of the fact that we have a Mimic Pokemon? I caught it earlier, actually. I was playing Pokemon earlier when I woke up. I went to the top of a lighthouse and found a treasure chest, and I was like, that's kind of random, but okay. I walked up to it, and it was a Mimic, and I was like, I want you! I want you now! I caught it, and I called him Mimic. I think that's the first time I ended up naming a Pokemon at, for a while, because I don't usually end up naming the Pokemon anymore in the later games until I actually use them in my party. Namely because, like... You catch Pokemon, and you can get experience from it. Also, I got like 20 or 50 of those freaking coin things, too. Let me tell you a little secret. It can evolve. Oh, can it become a bigger Mimic? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I know it said chest form. So... No? Oh. That... What is this? Vambrace. Boost attack power, huh? I'm equipping this. That means, Ran, you get the Dragon Shield. So now you have Fire Resistance. I think it also gives Water Resistance. Nope, that's the other shield. It becomes a Coin Man? Aww, now I almost don't want to evolve it. I kind of want to keep it as a big chest. I mean... I'll evolve it still, because I want to fill out that Pokedex. That sweet, sweet Pokedex. <clears throat> Shouldn't be too hard. You need to... Uh, given you need a thousand coins. Okay, noted. Don't sell the coins. I won't... I haven't done so. I haven't sold any of the Pokemon drop items. Considering that's the menu it appears in. But, uh... Noted. Oh yeah, I also went and beat the streamer chick. You know, the, the chick who has the same kind of sleep that that I do, where they go over your hands. I'm not gonna lie, she threw me for a loop. It was fun. Also, like, I like the idea of playing uh, Where's Waldo with the, uh, the Headmaster. Like, the first time I'm like, okay, I can clearly see you, clear as day. The second time I'm like, okay, look. I can see every person here Mr. Walks About. Yeah, exactly. Um, the second time, um, I think I was like, okay, where could he be? I imagine he would actually try to hide this time, and I saw that Nurse Joy was him. And I was like, oh, perfect, there he is. And then the third time I was like, okay, there's like nobody here, where is he? And I see just off the corner of my eye, I'm like, a boat, I'm like, there's no way. Stare closer at the screen, nope, there he is. And then her Pokemon really threw me for a loop. I don't know what it was. Like, I think I had one of those, uh, the Sandcastle Pokemon, the pre-evolution of it. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm doing pretty good against all the electric trainers. This should be fine. No, she actually had something that stopped me from just taking advantage of that. By the way, uh, its evolution dex number is 1,000. Hell yeah. That makes sense. 1,000 coins to to evolve it. Makes sense. Um, 
bum, bum. God, we're at a thousand Pokemon. Ugh, talk about making me feel old. Let me just press this switch in desperation. What about her sentient hair accessories? That was cute. Honestly, I liked her whole aesthetic. My brother came in and was like, this is cringe as hell. And I'm just like, look, she's like half my aesthetic. How can I not love this? Like, look at me. I am like at least 30% her aesthetic. The only difference is I don't like electric types all that much. Although I do always carry a Magnezone. No cringe too. I mean, it, it's topical for what's going on in the world, so I thought it was kind of cute. Alright, this fucking puzzle. Timed block pushing. Push, 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 push. Ah! And it's always such a freaking tight amount of time it takes. Okay. So, there's two in the middle. So I want to push it here. So the thing is, you can't really push it and then run around it to try and push it another direction before it goes out. And you need to get this thing out of the way. So you kind of need to go all the way around. So wait for the drops. Push, 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 push. Ah! Alright, we're good. Since then, I've actually mastered this puzzle because as a kid, I fucking hated this puzzle. I legit had to ask my parents to help me with this puzzle, and they didn't know what the hell they were doing. That they somehow managed to do it instead of me. I feel like an idiot. I mean, I am an idiot, but that's beside the point. Oof. What, you don't ever get your parents to play your games for you? Actually, no, never, never mind. What, why would they do that? I think I've only ever had to do that one other time. And I think that was when I was playing Wario Land on the Game Boy Color. Yeah. There's Gaia, throw Flare Wall, Storm Ray, Mia, throw Tundra, even though you're not really about doing damage to you. Blam! God, Gaia looks like it hurts so much when you use it. Gaia, Grand Gaia, and then Mother Gaia. So good. Uh, oh yeah, I also went and fought the giant steel uh, titan, I think it was. The big worm thing? Yeah, that thing was piss easy. Just annihilated its ass with a friggin' fire. Yeah, that. And then I got the ability to jump really high. So now I can bunny jump. Try using Earthquake. Wait, why? Was there something specific that it could... That would happen when to use Earthquake on it? I mean, I've already killed it, so it's not like I can really go back. It restores health from ground-type attacks. Yo! That's just cruel! Eh. That's so mean. I like that they keep trying to make Earthquake into not the best move. Versus being weak to ground, like, steel type attacks. Yeah. Honestly, I saw that it was a steel type because it said steel type Titan. And my thoughts every time I see a steel type are, fire, good, got it. I never really think about, like, the weakness to ground. The weakness to ground is bomb. <laughs> catch this dynamite right quick. Also, I can't catch a Voltorb for the life of me. They just keep blowing up. I walk into battle. I'm like, all right, I'm going to catch this guy. Got to whittle him down, maybe paralyze him. Nah, he just explodes. It's like that Sonic short where it's like, hey, you want a doki? Wake up. Sonic and his friends are here. What? And this just explodes. Bruh, you need to stand at a distance and throw your maw and also quick balls. I don't have access to quick balls yet. Alright, what else? Alright, I got sap. 
sap is basically a, a health ceiling. Play more. I mean, I will eventually. I was in the area when I suddenly got a call on my Rotom phone. It was like, hey, there's a Steel Titan here. I'm like, oh, so there is. I'll go fight it, since it's right next to me. Might as well. I'm also finding three-star raids now, so that's interesting. Oops. Punish the undead! Punish the undead! Punish the undead! Da 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 da! Everything up, anything above five stars, I can't do on my own. That's fair. Why is Task Manager still open? Okay, hang on. I also want to pull up my browser right quick. There's a reason for this. Crossbone. There it is. Crossbone Island. Now let's hope this is correct, because if it's not, I'm going to be very upset. Uh, accessing Crossbone Island early. There's two re ways to met uh, method to catching it. Uh, should be available after taking the Toby down to sea um, for Colosso. Few players have ever seen this method. Uh, let's see. First, the Swordsman, the Balding Man, the Chef, and the Elderly Man. Alright, gotcha. I don't know what determines anything different, but uh, I also thought that five stars would have been the maximum for these raids. But, you know. Incredible! So this is the ocean Creighton was talking about! Hey, buddy. The car- the- Caragal is surrounded by land, so technically it's not a real ocean. A true sea is totally open. Damn it, Ran. What? But it looks just the way Creighton described it. Someday I want to see a real ocean arc. You will, Ran. Don't worry. We'll go see <laughs> this dude's stupid. I mean, he's lived his entire life isolated in a, like, a village. And then, like, we go to, uh, fuck, what's it called? Um, he gets described what the wa what the ocean looks like, and I guess as far as the ocean is here, or this lake rather, this huge lake, they can't see anything beyond it. So he's thinking, "Oh, this must be the ocean." Oceanic. I don't want to check the box. I want to heal up too. That'd probably be a good idea. Tickets, please. Please show me your tickets. Thank you very much. Please board the boat, and we'll be sailing soon. Tolby bound ship. Ba, 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 ba. I wonder what could have happened. You mean, do you still intend to cross the dangerous sea? It would be too big of a loss to let many passengers get away. What? It would be too big? Oh, no, that is what he says. Okay. Say, Kaja, how are the, uh, the oarsmen doing? Arr, they're fearless. There's no problem there. It's just that, uh... It's just that what? A whole bunch of them appear are, um, are, uh, <clears throat> hang on, let me try and read this properly. A whole bunch of, uh, them appearing while crossing the sea. I won't be able to handle them alone. I'm sorry, but we'll have to, you'll have to. I can't let anyone else fight but you, Kaja. Remember, the oarsmen will have their lives, their hands will fall, throw in the ship. They can't fight. I, why, okay, I'm gonna stop doing this voice. It does not help. There's nothing we can do. Let's set sail. Wh what are you talking about? If we set sail now, we'll never make it to Tolby. We'll be fine. I have a protective amulet. Amulet? Amulet, you say? You mean the little anchor charm? This little anchor has always protected us from danger. Captain, get a hold of yourself. That's just foolish superstition. Oh, boy. It's okay. We'll be fine. Even if we can't find any mercenaries, this little that little charm will protect us. Ah, yes. Now then, let's hurry up. Prepare to set sail. This is great. We'll be setting sail soon. 
Not if I have anything to say about it. And I do! I'm going to say the F word! What is he doing? Stop! Stop, criminal scum! Or I use Hulk! I didn't do anything! Really, I mean it! This man appears to be suspicious. No. Wow, look at- see? Look how far you can see out into the water. You can see almost no land. I haven't seen anything like this since I got to Nova Scotia, and I just look out into the ocean. It's so surreal to see the water that calm, actually. I don't get to see it all that often. Given I don't also like being in Nova Scotia, it's a very boring place. Man, it must suck not living near the ocean. Not really. I like the big city, honestly. It's a lot more comforting. I don't know. I'm weird. Also, the Anchor Charm is in here now. Nova Scotia looks really nice, though. It looks really nice, but I'm not gonna be on- I'm gonna be honest. It's pretty boring. You have just one bad memory of it. No, it's not really a bad memory. I'm just- I've been there multiple times. I just don't have much I really want to do. Like, maybe I want to explore, but that's about it. I don't know. I'm also not one for swimming. I wonder if this is bugged here, too. So for some reason... No, it doesn't look like it is, actually. For some reason, in Game Boy Advance emulators, if this room bugs out a little bit, the carpet on the floor hides some of the characters. If you aren't going to set sail right away, I'm going ashore. Yeah, but we'll be setting sail real soon. So please be patient. When is real soon? I'm asking how long is soon going to be? You're wondering when? Well, we're planning on... <laughs> we're planning to go to see Colosso. You know, my friend Ornus here is scared of ships. Ornus, but he's huge! It's not that I'm scared, I just can't stand water. Ah, so you can't swim. I'd rather be bitten by poisonous spiders than set sail across the sea. Spiders, huh? Even Ornus is ready to cross the sea right now. Well, if we're not going now, then we'll have to... Uh, then when are we going to set sail, rather? That's, uh, not an easy question. One second. Uh, since you are on the ship now, have you ever heard the battle theme of Tales of Destiny 2? Yes, actually. I didn't realize this until, um... I didn't realize this until I started hearing the Tales of Destiny soundtrack. I was like, yeah, this this is literally this song, but the composer turned it into a battle theme, which is cool. It's got the same melody and everything. Actually, hang on. Can I mute the game right quick? Okay, hang on. How, can I just do, like, that? Nope, that's gonna... I don't want to open that. Close that, please. Alright, hang on. I know what I can do here. I want to play this because it's topical. So I'm going to open this. The first five seconds sound very familiar. All right. Jesus, that's a little louder than I thought it would be. Yeah, that sounds very similar. Man, we're having just musical chairs today, aren't we? Alright, let's open back up that so that I have how to get to Crossbone, and let's get going. Who's ready to go across the ocean? You mean you wouldn't... 
You wouldn't know even if I asked. Ah! Good morning, Vietnam! We're going, oh, Aranus. Going? Where? Got him again. Where else? We're going to the captain's quarters, of course. What do you think you're going to do going to the ca uh, in the captain's quarters? Make him set sail. Uh-oh. I don't think this is going to end well. And what if he refuses? In that case, we'll do- we'll just have to do our best to persuade him to... Right, Arwenus? That sounds crazy. That sounds great! Count me in! I don't want any violence! Violence is always the answer, my dude. Okay, it doesn't look like it's borked, or else I would appear underneath the carpet, so that's kind of nice. Ah, uh, Mia doesn't have any of that. Hmm. You know what, let's give her that. Jesus Christ, her health. Wait, what if I give it to I? What if I give it to Aura? Give the turtle boots to Aura. Oh my god, that sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Look at his HP. He's He's got more HP than Mia now. He's got more defense than Ran! I just turned Aura into the tankiest goddamn party member in my party. He doesn't have more health than Ran, but like... Damn, dude. Tanku. Aura's... Aura's... All of Aura's stats are over 100 now. Jesus. Aura is now the walking tank of our party. You know what? Considering his speed, that might not be a bad idea for this fight. Now what? Uh, you want to see the captain too? Yes, please. You're trying to launch the ship? We can't set sail in this dangerous sea. What is that? Or what was that? We don't care about that. We paid our money and now we have to launch the ship. Okay. But the captain decided to set sail a second ago. So, we're taking off? Yes, preparations are now made. Well, we were running a bit rash, running up here like that. Or maybe we were a bit rash, pulling up here like that. Please, launch the ship when you're ready. Dangerous sea, is that what you said, isn't it? Dangerous out there. Is that why you wouldn't launch the ship? Yeah, I did. The sea is dangerous now. There are monsters. Monsters, you say? Late there, there have been sightings of creatures never before seen in the Karagal. Dangerous ones? Actually, some sh uh, some even on uh, bleh. some even came on board the ship and attacked the crew. This that is dangerous. Monsters. Oh no. We suspect that our replacement ship might have been attacked. With such dangerous creatures around, you might need warriors! Warriors? Strong ones. It is certainly dangerous, but the ship is okay. After all, we... If there are monsters, I'm... I'll be glad to help out. Oh, really? Hey, Orinus, I thought... We have to make it to Colosso. If we're late, we can't enter. That's true, but... Hey, maybe you can give, the... give us a hand too, Sean. Really? There we go, I need that. Just that. Are you going are you really going to help us out? There we are. I'm a man of my word. If I say I'll help, I'll help. With you guys helping me to keep the deck safe, this ship should be okay. So can we set off now? No, now we need someone to protect the oarsmen. Protect the oarsmen, huh? You guys need some warriors? You have an idea? I saw some warriors among the passengers below deck. You think they'll help us out? If they're from... Aganar, they will. What? Hmm. If they, if they could help out, we'd be unbeatable. And of course, we still have my lucky anchor. And the music stopped. It's gone! It's vanished! What?
the captain's beloved anchor. The anchor? Our good luck charm? Oh, that? What's the big deal? S so what if our old trinket gone? What do you mean, oh, that? That anchor's been keeping my safe ship, my ship safe, my shape, my safe ship, my safe ship. That's what I said, my safe ship. It's just decorative, right? Even if we find some warriors, we won't make it without that anchor. We're not leaving. Damn. But you just said we're leaving. That was when I thought we still had the anchor. Why all this fuss over a little trinket? A little trinket? Were you listening to what he just said? This whole situation is stupid. It's not just a decoration, it's a good luck charm! This ship doesn't leave until we find it. What's the problem? We've got some warriors to help us. Maybe we, maybe we shouldn't have taken it. Hey! You! What are you still doing here? You are the captain, the ship's going nowhere. Captain? Is this your charm? Hey, it's my lucky anchor! Well, look at that. Did you find a, our charm for us? I did. Oh my goodness! That was delayed as hell. Who hums are definitely a lucky one. Yes. Thank you for the sub. That scared the shit out of me. Ah! Hey. It was on top of the mast. Why there, of all places? I don't know what to say. Thank you. Now we can set sail. Boy, that's a relief. Now we can set sail. Right, Captain? Yep. Only an hour into the stream, we're finally taking off on a boat. Mm, not just yet. Not yet? What's the problem this time? The ca Caragol Seas, thick with monsters. But you don't... Well, it's just like so Sean said. The best... Uh... The best we can do is protect the deck. We need someone to protect the oarsmen. Sean, you look like you have someone in mind to help us. Yeah. Someone who can help? Who? Those warriors! That's who! They may look young, but each of them is a force to be reckoned with. How can you tell just by looking at us? Is it because we're tanned? We came through the desert and that's what makes us look like we can handle anything? Well, when you put it that way, sure, why not? I can't argue with that. You just got that look. I've got that look in my eye. I can handle anything. Even a Kraken that I very much up, up the power of. Oh, good, that means the ship is taking off. There's one thing left to do. Oh, no, what now? I need some volunteers to help with the rowing, just in case. What? Are you going to ask the passengers to help to row the ship? The ship won't move without oarsmen, so... Don't worry, we'll do that too. What? Wait a minute! You're supposed to protect the ship! We need to... Uh, we'll need to ask the other passengers. Those passengers are part of our tour, so why don't you ask... You go ask them. This is crazy. We need to help. Uh, uh, we need you to help out, even with this, uh, even with the crazy stuff. Well then, all our station. Let's all go to our stations and wait for the launch. Come to think of it, we didn't get your names. Will you tell us? No. Well, I'll call you something. Hmm. You look like an. You look like Ark. <laughs> ah, you just look like a Jacob to me, you know. What the fuck? Ah, yes. Well then, Ark. Well, everybody, let's get this ship to sea. Out friggin' time. This is a total circus. I agree, and I love every moment of it. Let's go see how the passengers are handling this. We'll have to make them promise to help row before we set sail. Hopefully that won't, co eh, won't come to that, though. Sea Dog Kaja is a little scary, so everyone agreed to help row. But fighting up here suits me better than rowing down below. Too bad, because unfortunately you're one of the people I need to be able to get to Crossbone Island. 
You all agree to help on a, of your own accord. That's why I've come. Uh, I'd like your total cooperation when the time comes, because we know somebody's going to die. Our replacement never arrived, so we're sh we're shoving off just the same. What about the monsters? What's go who's going to protect the ship? That'll be me, Orinus, and Sean on the deck, and Ark and his friends protecting you down here. Can we really depend on them? Ark and his friends have seen more combat than even I. How do you know this? Again, huh? Do you just are you just able to see my level? Is that what it is? So there's nothing to worry about. If you say so, Kaja, we trust your judgment. I lived my life in a village of isolation. And then I went traveling for a couple weeks, so I've clearly got more experience. Uh, and what will you do if any of you becomes incapacitated? Uh, we're not sure. What happens then? Another passenger will help throw. Don't worry about it. I have problems. I have a word with the pass. I had a word with the passengers, rather. Who will go and give the order when the time comes? Hmm, good point. Water break. Oh, I, do, I do need to get my water out. Grab a water bottle. There we go. Water! Uh, you should select a uh, replacement and bring them here. I don't know why I keep slowly trying to turn into a pirate. Rowing requires teamwork. Be sure to balance the two teams. That's right. If we're not balanced, we'll make we won't make much progress. Um. So funny thing about that, uh, that doesn't matter. In fact, you want to unbalance the ship because you can get to one specific location a lot earlier than you're supposed to. Preparations ready. Ship's course clear. All set! Cast off! Roll those oars! Heave ho! And we're off! Avast! Ah! Monsters sighted! Monsters? Aye, Captain, sea monsters. Captain, turn the rudder hard to starboard. All right, I'm turning. It's no use, it's too late. Damn it, they know how to use doors. Oh! Monsters below decks, what the hell were we doing? Ark, take care of these beasts and save my mates. Is this guy okay? I guess he's dead. Wait, can I? Is he actually dead? I can't read his mind. I think he's dead. Mano Wars, which because of this game I know is an actual jellyfish. So I was tempted to up the power of the jellyfish and all the other monsters that we run into on the boat. And I didn't think it was necessary because these fights are kind of trivial anyways. Well, that explains the death. It does. All right, Man of War's down. Hey, are you okay? Again, wanting to slip into the pirate voice. Looks like you took care of the sea monsters. We're missing an oarsman. He's over there. Oh, no, he's unconscious. Oh, okay, he's not dead. Looks like the sea monsters got one of our rowers. No way around it. Art, go ask one of the pastors to row, okay? Sure. Hop to it. Lickety split. Uh, first we pick the swordsman. Hey, you're not thinking of making me an oarsman, are you? Yes. Get your ass down there. I can't believe this guy is actually choosing me. Assigning such me such mental work to a proud person like me is going too far. Sorry? Funny thing is, if you pick the girl or the or the old man, they're like, I feel so buff I could take on anybody right now. 
There's no T. Oops. Uh... Well... Ooh, you're brought to be an oarsman. You're going to have to row for us. Alright, take your place. Now, we need you to protect this area again, Ark. And don't fuck up this time. Alright, then we go through the scene again. Preparations ready. Coast is clear. And set sail. Does anything else change if you pick different people? Oh, there's an extra item. Uh, some items are permanently missable. There's a nut in the captain's bridge in the in the jar. There's a lucky metal in the lower right barrel below decks. Oh. Huh. I guess I'll have to make sure I grab these before I end up uh, defeating the boss. Monsters! Actually, those are seagulls. Bats, pardon me. A lizardman! And he's got an axe! Oh! Again, we ran in from above deck. God damn it, we're bad at this. Ark, take care of these beasts! I like how the swordsman is actually quivering. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to talk to him. Uh, I'm not afraid of monsters one bit. I'm just an oarsman. No, 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 Fighter, get the fighter, do Storm Ray, and Tundra. Ragnarok! Ow. I'm actually a little worried about the, um, the Kraken. Because I don't know if, um, I don't know how hard the fight this is actually going to be. Hey, I got a sleep bomb. That's handy. Hey, are you okay? And this is the same scene a couple times, so I'm just gonna kind of speed through it. I love how we don't get blamed for any of the bad shit that's happening to any of the people on this boat. Alright, so next I have to pick the balding man. I guess that's you, buddy. What? Oh no, are you going to make me row? Yep. Huh? You do want me to row? Okay, okay. Um, I'm going already. But I'm not gonna forget this, you... You child! Just get in the boat. Row, row, row your boat gently across the sea. Hopefully you don't die. Uh and live happily. Not foreboding at all. All right. I think you do this once more and then a boss. I wonder if I can actually explore the boat while picking the passenger. Rowing builds character and strength and strength in your back and chest muscles. That's something I need. That namely the chest muscles. I, I have plenty of back muscle. Ah! Oh, something scared away the seagulls. Huh? Oh no! Harpies!
Damn, no warning this time. Ah! God, we're above again! What are, are we just playing, like, a good game of, like... Friggin' Monopoly upstairs or something? No, hang on, I'll go fight them. Just hang on, I gotta roll first. I might I might land on the bank, you don't know. Bird up, oh no. I'm gonna bird out, how about that? Uh... There I go. There I go? Probably one of those is right. And then more Mana Wars. So I actually remember the Kraken being a big roadblock for me when I originally played the game as well. Because the Manticore wasn't that hard. He was difficult, but he wasn't that hard of a fight. The Kraken, though, because you go through all these fights and it takes so long to get to, I don't know, even though I was, though I was prepared for it after all these fights, I still felt weak and underleveled. I don't know. But now I'm about to fight the Kraken and he's been given a significant upgrade. There's no way around it. Ark, go. No, I won't go. Look, I know you don't want to do this, but you promised. Alright, fine. I'll go help. All right, who do we need to pick? The chef. Hey, chef, boy, RD. You, you must be joking. You want me to row? Yes. You jerk. What do you have against me? It's that your friggin' instant pasta cans stuff is absolute crap. How am I going to make lunch if I'm stuck here below decks? <laughs> He's even got a spatula. <laughs> Why? God damn it. Adjusting myself in my chair. Once more for good luck. Alright, now... Oh, I should have gone and checked to see if I could walk around the boat. Oh, well. Oh, finally, we're below deck! I wonder what's going on. The ship shouldn't be rocking this badly. Is Ran the Kraken? He just had to step away. Is Ran the, is Ran the, is Ran the giant squid? Ark! For once, we need you above deck! Ark, up on deck. There's a huge sea monster on the ship! Plot twist! We won't be able to do anything! We're sunk! You have to help us! If this ship sinks, everything we've done will be for nothing! Let's go bang some of some sea monsters! Okay, so is there an actual item down here? I think it's the other area below decks. Ornus! Sean! Kraken! Here goes nothing. Hell yeah, calamari time. I tried to also change the name of the bosses, but apparently I can't do that either, so pain. Say hello to the upgraded squid, and I'm going to immediately try putting it to sleep. I keep forgetting to fix my goddamn rings! I'm gonna have me a defend. Raise Rand's attack power. I actually put it to sleep. Nice. I guess we're just not gonna see what the Kraken can do. Oh no, he has regeneration. I forgot about that. Alright, well, you know what? Let's throw a smoke bomb at him while I'm at it. <laughs> Am I about to break this boss fight? I should have made him immune to sleep. Like, just given him 99 luck. You know what? If he wakes up, I won't put him back to sleep. Just to make it interesting. In fact, I might just start whacking him with Aura and Mia, just so that he actually does wake up. Wake up. Please wake up. Oh my god. There we go, okay, he's awake. Hey buddy! What the fuck is up, Denny's? I just wanted to tell you that your, uh, um, 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 
your car insurance has expired. What say you, Kraken? Uh-oh. Ow. That... Wait, how did he deal less damage? Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, but Aura has HP and defense boosted, and that still did a lot of damage. Jesus, hold up. Really? Um, can I not check? Okay, that was weird. Yeah, Aura's got more defense, but he still took more damage from that. Interesting. I don't know what to say. Alright, well, I mean, I'll just have Mia heal it, so that should be fine. Now that we have Wish, things are going to get a lot easier. Blammo! I think I might still be too strong for this fight. Oh no! Damn it! Poison rears its ugly head again. Is it really that surprising that I'm the one taking more damage? No. At this point, no. Ah! But you still are very prone to not getting poison, which I am perfectly fine with. I think you're the one with my antidotes, though, which is funny. Are you? You do have an antidote. Nice. I'll have Mia defend for now. Aura always carries a good herb in his backpack just to cure any poison that ails you. Drain. Ow. Blam! Uh-oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Okay. He just throws giant frozen orbs at us. Let's uh, actually raise your resistance. Can't cure depression, though. That's okay. I don't think anything can. Wow, he really just wants to give Bran the suck. Ah, my thumb. Ow. I just cracked my thumb. Hydra stream. Ow. Ow. That's not nice. Okay, I'm very much sure that I upped his power. I guess I'm just more powerful than I thought. There's a joke there. I can't, that can be made. It's, I mean, it's okay. I've got Mia to cure my depression. She's just so pretty. That's all I got. I'm sorry. Bang. Negative wave? Oh, God. Ow, ow. Okay. I definitely think that the, uh, the Kraken could... Oh, Jesus. Every time I'm about to be like, oh, I should have definitely made it more powerful, immediately gets smacked with a shit ton of damage. Actually, you know what? Aura, you can deal that. Healing. Uh, you heal Mia. Mia, depend. Yeah, yeet. Yeet to Kiskon, yeet Ah. Really? Your basic attack? Spinning beat. Ah. Wow, that deals so much damage from randomly everybody but Ran. I swear to God, it must be elemental damage as well. You know what? I have an idea. Let's make... Let's give Re uh, Aura another turn. And we'll have Mia heal. I have an idea. It's a stupid idea, but it's one that's going to be fun. Oh, fuck. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, he's actually starting to lay on a little bit of hurt. Maybe I shouldn't have made fun of the Kraken. Now that I've said that, watch, I'm going to kill him the moment I get myself fully healed and everything. Or I just get smacked. I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack again. And attack again. And then Aura's going to attack yet again. Aura's just going to try to lay the smack down on this Kraken. Hell yeah. Ah! He's hitting me with negativity. Oh, now he's giving us delusion. Oh, no. My attack is not up anymore. Interesting. Aura, since you have delusion now, give... 
know what? Summon Jimpeter. Jim Jimpeter? Jimpeter. And Mia, uh, give Aura a drink. He looks like he can use it. Now, here's the question. Do I just smack this... Oh, here I'm thinking in the back of my head. Oh yeah, I'll just throw Thor at him and see if that kills him instantly. Damn, I wheezed so hard I saw stars for a second there. Hey, Mia, learn Ice Horror. Whew. Hydration is important, especially on the ocean. Yeah, because you can't drink the salty waters. We lost another oarsman, though. Uh, I need to go check on the hull. You'll find someone to row the ship. All that water you can't drink. Yeah. Okay, so now I can technically explore the rest of the boat, right? So I can go in here? I don't think I've ever gone down here. Supposedly, I can go to help. Oh, there is a lucky metal down here. Nice. Hell yeah. That actually was a pretty easy fight, even though I was running out of uh, synergy points. And apparently there's a nut in here, right? So I check this. Yeah, I'll... I never knew these items were here. Hmm. Cool. Alright, now I think the last one is the old man, right? The elderly man. Yes. Hello. Out of all the people you're asking a frail old man like me to row... You look like you've seen your seen better days. You caught up with the group, at least. You regret this when I collapse from exhaustion or something. It's fine. It's good for your heart, old man. You gotta keep that blood pumping somehow. You're going to rope for us. I can't believe you're making me do this. Yes, I will protect this area. We should be fine, though. We're basically at the end now. So if everything goes right, this should take us to Crossbone Island. Ship's course, clear! Alright, who's ready for a Bermuda Triangle moment? The old man didn't even move. We're veering a very off course. Uh, Commander, we appear to be going the wrong way. Land ho! I also just realized the sails are now. Hmm, we finally reached Tolby, huh? Hmm, no. That doesn't look like Tolby's coast. We must be off course. I don't recognize this place. You're right. It looks like an island. Mm, maybe we should stop for a minute? We need to check on the ship's position. Let's head for that island or get our bearings. So... In terms of the game's code, this island is not within the sea. It's actually just somewhere else. We just don't know where. Supposedly, according to, like, Golden Sun 3, we've somehow gone off of Weird, and we're at, like, somewhere else. So, very much a Bermuda Triangle moment. We've reached an isle the island. Rowers, rest those weary arms. An island? Isn't this Tolby? The ship went off course, and we're, well, we're not sure where we are. We come to this island to get our bearings, so it doesn't exist. Yep. Raise your oars and rest for a while. If the ship's not going anywhere, I'm not waiting down here. Let's take a break out front. Um, game? Oh, okay, that was very glitchy. Oh, okay. It feels like there was missing dialogue there. The hell? Are you okay? I don't feel so well. Don't talk to me. Are you... Are you sick? Oh, that's creepy. 
What? We cooped up on this ship too long. We're near land. Uh, we're near land, so let's stretch our legs. Okay. Haja and the captain are professionals. We ought to trust them and wait like they said. Ark, you talked to the passengers, didn't you? The tour group is agreeing whether they should or arguing whether they should leave the ship. We'd like to go ashore and see if it's safe out there, but we need to protect the ship. That's it, Ark. You can go on the land and check to see if there's monsters. Okay. I see. You're you're go you're uh, going for me, aren't you? I'm sure no one will uh, complain if we. If, I'm sure no one will complain if we scout out the island. There's no telling what kind of monsters are lurking on this island, so be careful. So, although this is in English called Crossbone Island, in Japanese this is called Treasure Island. And uh, as you can see, there's a whole lot of nothing here. I've lost frames. Why am I losing frames? Can I have my frames back? There we go. Okay, my frames are back. I love how every time that that happens, I notice it happening. But if we go to the center of Crossbone Island... Well, that happened. Yeah, that's basically what I thought. So if we go to the middle of Crossbone Island and just... Go check what's inside here... Ba 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 da ba 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 da ba 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 da 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 da. I guess I got to call you Chin. Oh right, because Crossbone Island, or not Crossbone Treasure Island rather. Leh. There we go. Ba da 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 da. A bunch of treasure up here. Whee! Whee! Okay, so that goes into the island, but I don't want to go in there yet. Because there's a bunch of treasure out here first. Oh, hey, a nut! Just grab some nuts right quick. Always important. Grab these nuts. Singular coin. Thanks, game. One treasure chest over there. Alright, now we gotta go back up again. There we are. Some mint! Let's see, who do we give this to? Or has already got so much speed, it's not even. There's no point to giving it to him. I'm going to give it to Mia so that she can heal us a little faster. Oh wait, I don't need to do that. I can finally go inside from here. Ooh, hang on, I have a message. Just a second here. Sorry, I was just checking your message. All right. Now let's go inside this island and find out what's down here. I just realized I'm crippled. This is going to suck. It's a treasure chest. I want it. Let's open the door and ah! 
A hobgoblin! So I've changed the hobgoblin a little bit. He used to only be able to attack and use items. Now he's actually got synergy. And he can potentially hurt. First things first, I'm going to take care of his companions. Probably best not to use all of my synergy. We're going to try and get... Ooh, Ice Horn. Hell yeah. Gaia, hit him hard! There we go. Bonk. You know what? Put him to sleep. Let's see if that'll work. Oh no, Mia's running out of that uh, synergy points. That's a problem. So he has the potential to deal a lot of Jupiter uh, damage, so I don't want him to actually do much if I can help it. Am I cheesing this by putting him to sleep? Yeah. Is that going to stop me? No. Drop a bunch of sheep on him. Yeah, that's how you put Beatles. Why is that? Oh, no, I can, I can get it. I was about to ask, why is that what people think of whenever they think of sleep? And I was like, because I thought of uh, Paper Mario, and I was like, wait, no, you count sheep. That, that makes sense. Uh-oh, he's awake. There we go. And now he's done. Dead. And I don't think there's any more encounters down here. Treasure chest in the back. An antidote. I'm starting to realize the value of such an item. Uh, hang on. While we're running around here, I really hope I can find a synergy store. Store? Star. Alright, let's move this to the left. Because that'll let us get this treasure chest first. Another nut! Alright, how many of these do I have now? I have five. I've also got a ton of vials, too. Alright, let's reset the room and move this to the right now. Did I say right last time? I did. I am a dummy. Or I said left and I just don't remember. One, one, one coins. You can tell the developers are having a little bit of fun at my expense now. Uh, let's see. Where does that take me? I think that leads all the way around. So if I follow it with my eyes, right here, go up, go up over there, and I go up here, up and around, and then I'll go that way. So I guess I do want to do that? If I move it the other direction, where does that take me? I think it takes me to a dead end. So I'm going to move this that way. Well, we can't go anywhere if we move this to the left, so I'm going to move it to the right. Of course it blocked a treasure. Oh, whatever. I can come back and just get it once I've unlocked the way through. I hate how in Dark Dawn, this was the puzzle in every single room. It was just a jumping puzzle. And you could see the whole room, so it's not like it was a difficult puzzle either. Hop back all the way around. Alright, hop over here, hop over here, and over here, and push. There we go. So the nice thing about going through one of these rooms is that once we've cleared it, we can skip it. I'm going to grab that treasure chest in a moment. I want the other treasure chest first. Alright, move that over. I find that this dungeon also has the more interesting dungeon. Like, um, in terms of puzzles, I mean. Hey, a hard nut. I haven't had one of these in a while. I would give it to Ivan, or Aura, but I think Aura's got enough defense as it is. I'm gonna give it to Mia. Mia could use a little bit more. 
Actually, that, that defense is probably the only thing that saved you during that fight. I'm pretty sure the Kraken would have whooped you ten ways to Sunday if you didn't have that, that HP and defense. Alright, what is in this treasure chest? DEATH! It's death on an unimaginable scale! Yet I feel like I have no defense at all. That's the magical thing about it. Those turtle boots are definitely boosting your defense. But it seems like you have an innate, like, damage multiplier or damage reduction multiplier that's just not that high. I don't know how to describe it other than that, honestly. I probably also shouldn't be spamming synergy, considering I don't have very much of it right now. Curse, huh? Wow, that didn't work. Heat wave! No, no sleep. Up, oh, Mia slept. We're fighting a mimic. I slept. Bonk. Barrage. Oh, hey, he's stunned. Nice. Hey, he dropped a potion. Those are basically useless. Because a vial is pretty much a full heal anyways. Alright. Well, if the last door was any indication of what's about to happen. Grizzlies! And a succubus. I'm going to beat up the succubus first. I did up the succubus so that she hits harder! Yup. Yup, she hits harder. Air Claw. Oh. Mia, just heal me, please. That was not tasty. No, it wasn't. Ah, not again! Damn, these guys are relentless now. It also doesn't help it. Ah! Damn. That's nothing like the cookies. Alright, fuck it. Hit the succubus hard. Ironically, Aura has so much synergy points, he can actually just keep spamming it. There's the succubus. Down it goes. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, you know what? Do you have anything else? Nope, just Storm Ray? Alright, let's go for it then. Bang! Ragnarok! Thunderclap! Ow! Uh, uh oh. Nope, nope, nope. Grizzly needs to go down. Grizzly needs to go down now. Oh, that's bad. Maybe we can stun it. Uh, Aura, I want you to heal yourself. There we go. Barrage! That didn't work. Oh, nope! Oh. Ow. Alright. Looks like we're doing great. And by that, I mean I'm in pain. I probably could have Mia attack, because I think she can also stun the enemy with her weapon. Ow. God damn, he's just hitting me with Thunderclap like he's got a freaking Levin sword. You know what? Attack, attack, uh, you. Use a nut on him. Yeah, you know what? Mia, attack as well. Aura's handling the healing now. Never mind! Everyone's gonna just kill it now. Go! Everyone go! More synergy for Aura. Ow. Wow, that was your regular attack. I'm afraid to see what you can do with your special attack now. Ah! We can take him. Just keep attacking him. He'll go down eventually. There we go. Whew! Ooh, hey, a treasure chest right off the bat. Well, I mean, I guess it's not garbage. It's worse than garbage. There's some coins. 
What's in this one? Lucky Pepper, hell yeah! I guess we could give Rand some more status immunity. Welcome back, Rand. We have given you more luck. You are now a lucky man. Lucky Rand. You are a lucky fox. You missed us beating up a Kraken. <clears throat> and, uh, it turned out to be a lot easier than I thought it would, actually. What is the point of moving this like this? Oh, no, I'm supposed to move it up. Oops. And then I should be able to push this. And I think inside of this is basically a better sword for... Probably? The Mystery Blade. Blade Mystery. So I could give it to Ran, but I think swords are cooler on me, and Ran already having a, a firepower up. Why is this not better? What? Alright, fine. I'll leave the axe equipped on me. Ran, you get the Mystery Blade, apparently. What the hell? I hate that. <laughs> I really do. Alright, I need to remember to sell a lot of this stuff once I get to Tolby. Oh, probably want to push this, too. Oh, yeah, we also got, uh... We also stopped on an island called Crossbone Island. And every time we check one of these doors, something bad happens. As you can see. Oh, God, right, I upgraded the Foolish Ghouls tool. Fiendish Ghouls, pardon me. The Lich also has the ability to reduce a lot of my stats, so let's quickly heal up with Mia. Ah, <coughs> oh, Glacier! Ow! That's actually significant damage! Ow, ow, ow. Alright, I need to kill that... Friggin' Lich first. Could try to steal HP from it. You know, that might not be a bad idea. Do you have anything that can also help? I could boost my attack power. That's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, give everybody speed. Actually, you know what? Give me resistance. That's probably a good idea right now. And you heal everyone. There we go. Jesus! Heal myself. Spritz. Cannibal thing. Ow, ow, ow. Forge! Everyone gain strength. I could drop their agility too while I'm at it. That'd be funny as hell. Revive a downed ally. You know what? Let's use granite, and then let's attack with the with ram. Um, let's see. I'm going to actually. I'm going to use. Oh, no, I, don't, I did already did a. You know, I'll get more speed. More speed, though, right, good. Mia, I want you to use fizz to heal up ram. Because we have reduced damage this turn, we should be able to fully heal everyone. Or at least get a good chunk of our health back. I don't know why I've decided to suddenly just start using Jin. Ow. Merc! Oh god, he can use Merc! It's okay, Ran will suck the life out of the Lich. Let's drop their agility. Uh, Ran, I want you to actually attack. It's actually a lot of damage, too. Uh, I want you to use that, and you use that. Hit them hard! That wasn't really that much damage, actually, which sucks. Drop their agility, hit them with water. Bonk. Enfeeble. My defense! Or resistance, rather. Ow. I need that, damn it. 
Flint. Uh, I want you to use... No, not that. Use Mars. Uh, you know what, Aura? I want you to defend and me to defend. Slurp. Alright, the Lich is down. Alright, you know what? I think it's time we called the power of God in anime. Judgment. Ran, you use Heat Wave. Aura, you use Storm Ray. And Mia, you really can't do much, so I'm just gonna have you defend. Give him a little bit of a give, give him a little bit of a shot, and then just this. The oceans are gone. Forest is being destroyed, and now these guys. Dead. Dead. And I got a Psy Crystal! Yay! Except I need Synergy Points, damn it. I mean, it isn't Meteor. This is true. It isn't Meteor, but it's still cool. Alright, oh, I've got more of these keys to grab. Oh, right, hang on. I also just realized a bit of a problem. Got no Synergy Points. There we go. There we go, that'll do. So now... We're trying to go around collecting all these keys. What do the keys do? I think I can grab that one from here. You know, who set this place up? Like, the deeper we go, the more weird stuff we're finding. No, I want to go this way. Grab that one. That's another key. How many of these keys do I have? A lot. Also, my inventory is getting full of garbage. Thankfully, when we get to Tolby, we'll be able to do a lot of cool things. That door. That door. That door, and that door. But before we do any of the chest opening... That's mine, Reed. That's not what I wanted to do. Reveal that there's a hidden key! Yoink. Mine now. Alright, the red key will get us to go down deeper into the dungeon. Got a smoke bomb. Gave it to Ran. Got a cookie. I think I actually want to give that to myself. Yeah, because I'm going to get healing, or revival spell later, and I want the synergy points to use that. Ah, the fairy ring. The ring that basically makes um, elixirs worthless now. And three, three, three coins. Because, of course, they have to have that on here. Alright. Open that. Ba -na 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 -na. So I don't think we can actually go deeper than this next floor, but we'll find out. We're still going to fight them first. Until it breaks and you forget to repair it. Look, it's just one ring. I fixed the other one at least. Actually, this ring is basically worthless now, because it only heals 70 HP. We can buy nuts. Oh god, did I upgrade the griffins? Oh. Oh no, I did. Uh-oh. We might be in trouble. Well, we have a lot more synergy points, and Mia might be able to keep up with some healing. And Ran actually has a pretty decent weapon now. Actually, speaking of which, use Forge, Ran. That'll help. And then I think Ran is the slowest character, so... We'll probably just have to wait, because I have an idea. Bonk. Oh god, they've got impact! And they've got Siphon Seal! Oh no! They can seal our synergy. Alright, Ran has now upgraded our attack power. Let's just attack, attack. Uh, I don't have high impact yet, but I want to test something. I want you to do that, and I want you to use Mars. Ah, okay, so it is just one or two uses of that. Then. Oh, well, whatever. Ow, ow, ow. 
Oh no, I don't like how high your attack has gotten, my dude. This is scary. Okay, first things first. Attack, attack. You use impact on Ran. Mia, I need you to heal, please. Bonk. Twin Beaks. Ow. Uh-oh, don't hit Mia! Oh no, Ran's down! Ran, no! It's okay, I have a solution. And it does not require any cowbell. <laughs> Ran, no! It's okay, it's okay, he's down for now. He'll get better, I swear. Just use Wish for now. Consider running? I can't run from this fight, sadly. This is technically a boss fight. Ow! Going down and dirty. God, these things hit hard. Technically, you're not supposed to fight these things this early. You're supposed to stop at floor three and realize, oh, I can't go any further. I guess we'll just die. No, we'll persevere. We will carry on our dreams. And by that, I mean hopefully not die. If I have to, I'll just do the thing again. I know what I must do. Aura, you're going to be the trump card in this. Heat wave. I need you to use kite on yourself because we're about to do something drastic. We're going to use the hammer of God. Wow. Oh, what? Because of my phrasing? Look, that meant something way different before, you know, you know who existed. Nut. Arc C Discord. Uh oh, that's worrying. What? What? Oh, auto mod blocked the name. What? Your messages could not be. Just uh, place because it's not okay with the rules. Ah, <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. You can't even say his name. That's funny. That's actually that's actually hilarious. What the hell? Okay. Anyways, now that Aura has two turns, I'm going to have him boost our resistance and our speed, and then Mia, I'm gonna have you like defend, I guess. We're just hitting one of these guys. Oh, there we go! Ah! Not wing stroke! Fuck! We can take it! We can take it! Okay, I need to start healing people, though. Do I have any more nuts? I do. We need to keep Aura alive, as well as the rest of our team. Because Aura is going to not have what he needs yet. Shit. Uh, use Smog. Actually, wait. No, 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 no. We have to think this through carefully. He That's Smoke Bomb. Or Sleep Bomb. Heal Aura. Use... I don't have Flash yet! Shit! Uh, you know what? Raise our defense. That's a good alternative. Aura, use Smog. And then Mia, I want you to use Fizz on yourself. Alright, Aura, do me a favor. Don't die. I'm giving my entire party Corona just to keep ourselves alive. Twin Beaks. Oh, Jesus! Okay. The moment of truth. Uh, no, I don't want to do any of that. I just want to uh, defend, defend... Aura, use Thor, and then Mia, use a nut on yourself. Here comes the thunder of the gods! <laughs> 